Hey everyone, it's me, QP83. And Barbie0913. And recently, Tommy reached out to me and asked if we wanted to see, uh, to test out Light Seekers uh, and put it up here on the channel. And because it was kind of cool and interesting, I said, sure, why not? So here we are uh, bringing to you some Tommy products. These are called Light Seekers. There are three different ways you can play Light Seekers. There's the digital app, which is free on Android and Apple. Um, there's the smart figures, which we see here, which are integrated into the game with lights, sound effects, vibrations, um, and they do a couple other things within, like, for the gameplay mm -hmm. uh, in the app. And then there's a card game. So if you're more into, like, a physical kind of card game, you can also play Light Seekers that way. And then pick up more cards and have those multi-pack kind of games. Exactly. So there's three ways to play. What we have here is the um, the deluxe starter kit for Light Seekers. This predominantly goes with the um, the app, but it does come with five cool cards that you can use if you are part of the trading card game. Um, so it does come with those as well, but predominantly these guys work with the app, which we will talk about in a moment here. And they're so darn cute. They, they are really cute. So this is Jack's Tyrax. He's a hero. He's, He's a hero. hero, yes. They're all these light seekers that you see here are heroes. Um, what's nice about Jax, and you'll see this in Korra as well, is that they're all, they're all articulated. So he can pose, he can turn his arms, he can move his legs. So that's pretty cool, because a lot of times you see these games and the figures are cute, but they don't really do anything. They're essentially statues. And these guys are much more like action figures versus statues. So that's uh, that's Korra. Korra is super cute. She's kind of adorable. And she has better articulation than this guy because this guy has all the gear on his shoulder. So he can't like put his shoulder up in uh, on this right side here, as well as he can on his left. But Mari, uh, the Korra is super, super cute. They have weapons, so this guy doesn't have to have this weapon attached to him. You can take it off. This is Jax's Nitro Hammer. Does special things in the game. These weapons are interchangeable between characters, so while you do get the Nitro Hammer with him in this in his starter set, you can put it in Mari's hand and all that good stuff. And then they get extra um, quality or yeah. something, some extra. You just pull this back. You pull it back. There's a latch on it. Yeah. Because it's got a little sensor on there. Mm hmm Mari's weapon is the Aqua Dart Crab. Um, but as I said, these are interchangeable. So Mari could use the hammer. Uh, Jax could use the, uh, the Aqua Darts. So that's pretty neat. One thing about all of these characters that you'll see is on the back, there's kind of this uh, little Digivice thing. I think it looks a lot like a Digivice. But it's actually called a Fusion Core. This is like a little computer that you plug into your started figure. Um, it keeps track of your levels and your abilities. It's essentially like a like your your character in the game. It saves mm -hmm. all that information. Um, and what's nice is that if this game ever gets updates or the characters get updates, they'll wirelessly go to this Fusion Core. Um, so that's that's the cool the cool things about the actual characters. I just like that they're articulated. They're more like action figures, and they're mm -hmm. just so cute and colorful. And there's multiple characters, so hopefully we'll be seeing more of these uh, these characters brought to life in this form. So all these sets come with, as I said, five cards. Uh, they all come with an exclusive character card, so you can uh, use augmented reality and. Uh, you get bonuses and things as you scan them. There's also the uh, tribute card, which if you or your friends scan it, there's there's more points to be had. Um, and then if you're into the card game, there's all these really cool battle cards, or if you scan them into the game, you get special bonuses and things. So as far as actual gameplay, I did not play as much as she did. I'm more of a Pac-Man girl <laughs> and Space Invaders and Missile Command kind of girl. Um, so my level of expertise on these is like all the way down. 
As is mine. Um, I'm not that fond of these kind of card games where you keep adding cards and battles numbers and all that. Uh, but what this does have, it has a regular adventure game, that's the main game that you play, and then it has mini games that are under action games. So if you want to practice with your figure, because your figure at one point he can fly and you use your figure to do it. So it, it's kind of weird, it's that augmented reality and you're using your figure, your actual figure to do it. So mm -hmm. if you want to practice it seems like you want to practice in the action games because it'll tell you which games need the figure with. The so these figures, while you're playing, the actual app will um, talk to you, they'll light up, they'll vibrate, they'll encourage you, they'll try to help you along the way if you're stuck. Um, and then as my mom said, sometimes it'll say, pick up your figure, fly across this you know, ruin. Okay. Or some of the games it looks like use these little buttons on the back. Yeah, for um, to um, send the the explosion out, you know, the, right. the weapon. So that's how you use the figures. You don't have to use them a lot of the time, but they have that sort of added effect as being a companion while playing. So we'll try coin chase in the desert, and the figure is required, so we will try. Let's see. But I want him to go down. Oh, then aim him down. <laughs> there we go. Okay, there! Come on, come on! Right. Get the coins, get the coins! Yeah. Oh, come on. Where's the coins? Go the back up again. Whoa, whoa! And you feel the vibrations, too. <laughs> that is Lightseers in a nutshell, essentially. It's an RPG free app that you can then buy cool accessories like these articulated um, smart figures that will save your progress and kind of bring you more into the game and that sort of thing. And then you can play the card game as well. Uh, all from Tomy. So that's pretty much all. Clearly, this wasn't like a, this is exactly how you play and defeat the game sort of thing. It's the Bible to the game. It's no. not the Bible to the game. Um, but maybe this will give you an idea. I know there's a lot of toys that my cousins play with, and I'm like, what are you doing? What yeah. is this? So maybe you're in that situation, and you have no idea why what Light Seekers was on the Christmas list this year. So this is what it is. Yeah, pretty cool. I'd say do the action games and then figure out how your character works mm -hmm. before you do the other stuff. Yeah, and it seems like the action games are the only two-player options. So if you're getting this for yeah. uh, brothers and sisters, that sort of thing, the action games are pretty much the way to go. But let us know what you think of these guys in the comment area, and we'll talk to you soon. Bye. Bye.